guys, it is January 31st, 2018. On this one here, I got a call for a gas furnace. Uh, I guess there's a couple of gas furnaces in this place. Some kind of group home or something. I guess um, one of them's not working or cycling on and off. I'm on my way there now, see if I can get in over there and see if I can find out what's going on with the unit. I guess the maintenance guy had called. I so it's uh, kind of getting a message relayed from a couple of different people here. So we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with it. Not the greatest area in the world here. It's in the city. This one seems to be the fans on. Seems to be warm. Two, three, four blinks. Four blinks. Limit switch open for red. So that's the high limit. That's that right there. We're gonna have to check that. So it's not hot, obviously. So we'll pull one wire out and we'll check it with ohms. See if we got if it's open. Push this button right here, and when we touch these together, it'll beep. Can you hear it? I can see the light there. So that's if it's closed. If it's open, it's not going to do anything. No. Nope. It's closed. Sometimes the rollout switches will trip. We'll see. That's fine. That's the limit. That's in. That's in. I'm not a big fan of these.
well you know it's calling for heat so we'll shut it off and uh, clean that flame sensor put the door back on I'm going to clean that flame sensor while I'm here. Clean it, take that flame sensor off right there. Clean it. Scratch it up too much, just kind of clean it up a little bit. filters not the greatest but I don't need to tell them about that sometimes these will get dirty too inside here it gets dirty it's not a bad idea to clean that you can get it off they break like that it's common take a little thermostat wire stick it on this side and make sure it's clean put that back on we'll try it again she's running so I will talk to the owner I did clean the flame sensor um, this thing acts up again we'll have to get into it again get into it deeper but it's running fine now so I'll probably be back to this one I'm gonna check the check the flame sensor on that one I have uh, had a block chimney on that one one time I'll let them know what, what's going on with this you don't want to be guessing on stuff like this. You want to make sure that it's, you can find the problem or let it ride. All right, 
Alright, so this one just shut off on high limit. Could be that the thermostat satisfied. That's open, it should have 24 volts there if it's open. I just left that job. I did talk to the owner. I told him what the story was over there that, you know, it's possible that that limit switch is, you know, acting up at times and then, you know, I went over there, pulled the wire off, might have popped back into place. But I want to wait until it fails and then uh, I know exactly if that's the problem. I check it. It's no good. You know, we change it. I don't like just changing parts uh, when you check them and they're okay. And uh, he appreciates that. So I told the lady. I'll probably be back on this one. Uh, it could be the board's bad. It could be uh, it could be the board or that or that limit switch. But we're gonna let it ride. And I'll probably be back on this one. Flame sensors needed to be cleaned anyway. One, two. money in the bank I got. That's, okay. That's what Kurt told me about you when I called him. Double check that. The limit. I checked it with the wires on. I checked it with the wires off. The limit's fine. But this thing's blinking four blinks, saying that that's bad. But it's not that, so I gotta go in and get another board for it. It's a bad board. That's why I always like to double check it twice. Make sure that it's not, you know, a false reading. I mean, we're not gonna get a board. Alright guys, I'll pick up the new board there.
this one should be an easy change out. Just make sure the board's the right one. Should be in Colvin. Colvin York by even the model the serial on the unit, so they should have the right one. Always good to check it. Disconnect it, let the board hang hang down here. I got the power off. I like to disconnect it, let the board hang, put the new board on, and then switch the wires out. That's what I like to do. I take these these pliers, I push these little dogs in and pop it like that. Especially in the winter, you want to wear gloves when you're touching the board because you're static. Your static uh, electricity could ruin the board from the low humidity. You want to say to wear gloves. So I was always taught. So that's what I do. Put the new board right in place. And Just like so. Take one off, put one on. Very simple. This way he don't screw it up. One at a time, Mama. One at a time. thermostat. So red goes to R, which is the power going up to the thermostat. W is for heat. Take 
So we've got the red and the white. That's the heat. Put the bottom door on in, we'll fire it up. Sensor replace main operating board. Look at the ductwork. The return ductwork comes down here, and then he's got a couple of 10 inch, 10 inch lines going down for the return. I mean, really? Kind of cheesy. Real cheesy. Return duck here, and he's got a couple of a couple of rounds going over there. Flipping mess, and yeah, flipping slasher, flipping slasher. spots on the back. Clean up fuse, we can save that and use another one of them. That's it, bad board. Well, it was. If I would have went by the code blinking on this, I would have the high limit, changed the high limit, but the high limit was good. That's why I wanted to wait for it to act up a second time, come back and check the high limit. And it wasn't that, it was the board. So sometimes, you know, you rush into judgment on things and, and bite, you in the, bite you in the butt. Oh, yeah, next level. Next level. Huh? Alright, let's go to the next job.